In this video, I am going to discuss the effect on free surface uh, correction due to pumping in a tank, due to filling a tank. Suppose this is a vessel uh, and I am showing this uh, port and starboard uh, side that is uh, uh, toward a uh, ship direction and we ballast the tank. Pumping in means we are ballasting the tank and suppose we are ballasting it with the fresh water. The dimensions of the tank are 12 meter, 10 meter and 6 meter. Well, say the KM is 7 meter, KG is uh, 6 meter, then GM solid will be KM minus KG that is uh, 1 meter. And since the tank is empty, the free surface correction will be zero. So the GM fluid will be one meter. Now we have ballasted this tank, which was empty and the ballasted by one by three, that is one third of the tank is uh, ballasted. So the depth of the tank is six meter and this is scale. We call this is as a deep tank, which means the tank is a deep down till keel. So the sounding that filling distance will be 2 meter and the center of gravity from keel of this uh, water is going to be 1 meter. So first let's find out how much is the mass of ballast in the tank well the dimension is 12 meter and 10 meter and this one is going to be 2 meter and since we have ballasted by fresh water so uh, the weight is going to be 12 into 10 into 2 into 1 that is volume into density so 240 ton of the ballast is uh, is filled in this tank and now the tank has become slack so the free surface there will be some free surface correction so this value is not there similarly the kg of the ship is also changed so this is also changed so let's remove these values and of course uh, uh, we'll have some a uh, different effect on this assuming that the km remains same now let's say the displacement is 10,000 ton. So the change in the center of gravity will be given by W into D divided by uh, WF where WF is the final displacement and D is the distance uh, difference in the center of gravity of the ship and the center of gravity of the weight loaded. So we can simplify this by this uh, simple diagram where here K is the keel and kg of the ship is 6 meter and well we have loaded the weight here at k is small g which is 1 meter so the d is the difference between k capital G and k small g which is 6 minus 1 and the wf is 10,000 ton plus 240 so we get this gg1 which is 0 0.117 well since we have loaded this weight at the bottom so the center of gravity will shift vertically down and we can write like this that kg1 that is new kg is equal to kg minus gg1 or simply uh, this one or simply kg1 is equal to 6 minus 0.117 is equal to 5.883 meter now since km is 7 meter and the new kg is 5.883 so we have the gm solid as 1.117 meter the difference between km and kg1 we get this gm solid now let's find out the free surface correction well the free surface correction is free surface movement divided by displacement and the free surface movement is i into di and a four box shaped vessel a rectangular shaped vessel this i that is second moment of uh, area or moment of inertia is given by l b q by 12 so we get l is 12 meter a b was 10 meter 
and di that is density of liquid inside the tank which is the fresh water so it is one so we get free surface correction as 1000 ton meter since the displacement is 10240 ton so the free surface correction is free surface moment which we have calculated as 1000 and the final displacement so we get free surface correction as 0 0.097 so let's apply this free surface correction here which is a 0 0.097 meter so we get gm fluid as 1.020 which is uh, our gm solid minus free surface correction there is another way to solve this problem also by movement table say we uh, have this remark weight in turn kg in meter that is uh, distance of center of gravity from keel and the vertical movement which is the product of weight and kg so in case of ship which was 10,000 the kg is 6 meter so vertical movement is a 60,000 now we have ballasted which is 240 and k small g is 1 meter so the vertical movement is 240 look at this diagram k small g is 1 meter which is the ballast loaded inside the empty tank now the free surface movement which is also affecting the vertical movement which we had calculated as 1000 so this also needs to be added so we need to find the final weight and the final vertical movement which is uh, like this final weight 10,0240 and the final vertical movement is 61,240 so the kg fluid is uh, final vertical movement divided by final weight which is 5.980 so the k km was 7 meter so gm fluid is km minus kg fluid that is 7 minus 5.980 or simply 1.020 well we can understand this scenario here suppose this was the g capital g center of gravity of the vessel and since we loaded something downward like this here in this direction so the gg1 has shifted like this and gv that is the free surface correction so kgv is the kgv is our kg fluid and km was given 7 meter so this one is a gm fluid this one